Do you have a pet dodo hiding in your Nana's attic? Or maybe you're keeping a secret stash of long-lost creatures in your shed. There are sadly so many animals that are at risk of extinction today, and others that have already been lost due to the passage of time. And some dopey human behavior as well. But have we rediscovered any of these animals that we thought were long gone? Or perhaps there are ways to bring them back after all. From the resurrection of an Ice Age giant to a dinosaur fish stalking our seas, here are 15 extinct animals that may actually still be alive. Number 15. The Saber-Toothed Tiger Now, if you had believed like I did that these are those big cats with foot-long front teeth that they would use to stab their prey to death, then it turns out that you and I were really wrong. But don't feel bad, scientists had been wrong about them too. New evidence has been uncovered that has given us a whole new insight into the saber-toothed cat. Scientists had believed that this cat had gone extinct about 300,000 years ago. But in 2002, they made a discovery which changed their minds. Radiocarbon dating, a clever process which has been in use since the 1940s and continues to improve, as well as genome sequencing would be used to examine a jawbone that had been discovered in the North Sea. So basically, these predators were a lot less stabby than the Smilodon, that's the one that we had mistaken for the saber-toothed cat, but were a bit more rippy and bitey in their habits. Still though, it's pretty unpleasant to be on the receiving end of one of those fangs, but they do make a less terrifying picture than we first believed. The saber-toothed cat likely survived for much longer than other sorts of big-toothed cats because they were able to adapt the way they hunted and the sort of prey they caught. Whereas others, like the Smilodon, well, they were a bit too fussy about what they had to eat. In fact, scientists now believe that your pet cat may have some of the old saber-toothed genes floating around in their innards. So it's no wonder it's got a little bit of an attitude. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. The Woolly Mammoth now, despite plenty of attempts to convince people that woolly mammoths do still wander the earth, there are some intensely grainy and decidedly fishy looking videos out there. However, we may be closer to seeing these colossal creatures again. Seriously, I'm not kidding. Scientists are working on ways to create extinct animals. Sometimes you have to wonder if people have forgotten all about Jurassic Park and, well, how all of that went. The idea of bringing back long extinct species is actually something which seems to excite a lot of people. And there are, in fact, a whole bunch of scientists who are dedicated to doing exactly that. The incredible advancements in understanding the genes and genetic sequencing that have happened in recent years have now made what once seemed insanely impossible just a matter of time. The woolly mammoth is up there at the top of the resurrection list, and this creature is especially likely to find its way back to life because of how much the mammoth's genetics are shared with the modern-day Asian elephant. So, when you add this to the remarkably well-preserved remains of woolly mammoths that have been discovered, the science of rebuilding these Ice Age giants is almost there. And you never know, you could open up your curtains one morning and see a surprise woolly mammoth wander by. Number 13. The African Coelacanth However you look at it, this is the crazy tale of an ancient massive fish that literally returned from the dead, like a zombie perhaps, but still a little bit of a surprise to people who spend all of their time looking at fish and other sea dwellers. The African coelacanth managed to keep itself so well hidden that it was believed to have gone extinct over 65 million years ago. 
Then one day in 1938, the coelacanth popped up again, and everybody had to go back and rewrite all of those encyclopedia entries. Although the coelacanth lives at the bottom of the sea, these creatures are pretty hard to miss. They're about six foot long, weighing in at 200 pounds, and they're really weird looking. These creatures come with extremely thick and scaly skin, and they have four fleshy fins that move around like limbs of land animals. Scientists had thought at one time that these creatures could explain the transition of animals from sea to the land. These ancient behemoths are certainly still swimming the oceans today, but their ancestors were doing so way back along, oh, about 360 million years ago, according to scientists. So as it turns out, the African coelacanth holds some pretty incredible stories in its scaly body. And it sure does make me wonder, what else could be out there? Perhaps there's something to all of those Loch Ness monster stories after all. Number 12. The Arakan Forest Turtle Hunted and with a target on its back, these little guys are more in danger than a movie president with Harrison Ford as its bodyguard. This is one of those rare creatures on the planet, and certainly the rarest of all turtles. In fact, scientists thought that the Arakan forest turtle was extinct for 86 years. That was until it was seen in an Asian food market in 1994. And even until very recent, scientists still had not actually caught one in the wild. Then, in 2009, to the delight of conservationists, the critically endangered critter would be discovered to be living in a wildlife sanctuary in Myanmar. Arakan forest turtles are the rarest, but many other species of turtle are at risk of extinction as well. They're still deemed a delicacy, and turtles are also used in many traditional medicines, so they remain in real danger of being hunted into total extinction. Despite many laws that prohibit the capture and sale of turtles, the illegal wildlife trade continues to thrive while the turtle population dwindles to desperately low numbers. The wildlife sanctuary takes the protection of these reptiles very seriously. There are even armed guards who are stationed 24-7 on all the routes around the area. So you have to hope that perhaps these creatures might just make it. Number 11. The Night Parrot Now just how a brightly colored bird would manage to elude detection for 50 years is beyond me, but that's just what the Australian Night Parrot has done. Probably shouldn't all go poking your noses into its business. I would imagine that the bird's secretive behavior is probably a clue that it likes to keep to itself. In 2017, the first photograph of the Night Parrot would be taken in Western Australia. This came quickly on the coattails of several sightings since the bird had been officially rediscovered back in 2013. Although no sciencey people had laid their eyes on the bird for decades, it was never actually listed as being extinct, as there were occasional reports of sightings of the night parrot in the years when it was quote unquote lost. This was largely considered a second chance to protect the elusive species for future generations, but unfortunately there are a whole bunch of other animals that also went extinct already and will never get that second chance. Really though, people have sucked at taking care of animals for so long. Extinction? Well, it's pretty much always a result of dumb human activity. Either literally hunting a creature into extinction, or destroying its habitat, or hunting the animals of prey, chopping down its food source. Really, really dumb behavior. So everyone, let's keep our fingers crossed for the night parrot. Number 10. The Tasmanian Tiger Speaking of dumb human behavior, this animal was a victim of some of that stupidity and may or may not still exist to tell the tale. The Tasmanian tiger, as the name would suggest, was an animal that could be found on the island of Tasmania, could being the operative word. These guys were believed to be extinct by the early 2000s, although there have been reports of sightings of Tasmanian tigers between 1910 and 2019, the last known example died in the Hobart Zoo on Tasmania in 1936. When those dopey European settlers would take their domesticated sheep to Tasmania, they all but signed the Tasmanian tiger's death warrant. 
hunted mercilessly as they were a threat to the sheep. The creature, also known as the thylacine, was rare by 1914 and in dodo territory by the 30s. Despite being named tiger, these animals had actually very little in common with a big cat. They did have stripes on their back, like a tiger does, but beyond that, their shape was more like a dog. They're sometimes called a marsupial wolf, as the female would carry her young in a pouch, much like other marsupials. And though there have been sightings throughout history, there's been no recorded evidence that these animals actually exist anymore. Frankly, there are also umpteen so-called sightings of Bigfoot every year as well, so, you know. On a brighter note, the Tasmanian tiger has made it into the list of potential candidates for de-extinction. It does look as though there might be a possibility to build one of these guys in a lab. But, you know, perhaps it may have been simpler not to hunt them into extinction in the first place. But what do I know? Number 9. The Baiji The Baiji has the misfortune to be known most widely for being the first species of dolphin to have been driven to extinction by the actions of humans. That is, if it is actually extinct after all. Are you confused? <laughs> well, me too. This river dolphin, found only in China's Yangtze River, was known as the goddess of the Yangtze, and local fishermen actually believed that these creatures were their protectors. Unfortunately, it seems that the Baiji could have done with some protectors of their own, because up until the 1950s, these dolphins actually thrived in the river. Their numbers were estimated at around 6,000 until the process of mass industrialization began in China during the second half of the 20th century. Then it seems as though the fate of the Baiji was truly entangled in the rate of human expansion. The dolphins' habitat became more and more dangerous, and they were frequently victims of bad fishing practices, dam construction above all, and the toxic environment that was created by the hugely polluting human industries that were based all along the river. It would be in 1996 that the numbers of Baiji had dwindled well below a couple of hundred, and that's when they were placed on the IUCN Red List, marked as being critically endangered. But being on a list doesn't really mean that anyone is going to save you. By 2006, a team would go in to investigate the state of the dolphin population in the river, and after an extensive search, they found no Baijis at all. Not one. They concluded that the Baiji dolphin had gone extinct. Since then, there have been a few reported sightings and some fuzzy video footage of the dolphins in the river, but these are mostly unconfirmed and probably more wishful thinking than a sign of the creature's miraculous return. Number 8. The Megalodon Are you scared of sharks? you might want to shut your eyes right now if you are. Because the Megalodon was bigger and badder than any species that we have in our oceans today. The Megalodon was the biggest shark that ever lived, and it almost gets the trophy for one of the largest fish as well. Reckon that they measure between 15 and 18 meters in length, which is between 50 and 60 feet. That's three times the size of the biggest recorded great white shark. Oh, and their teeth? Well, they're only about 7 inches long, and they happen to have about 276 of them as well. Why, Grandma, what big teeth you have. Remember the old coelacanth that we saw earlier? Well, that guy was believed to be extinct for millions of years when he suddenly appeared back on the scene, and that kind of discovery gives scientists reason to believe there might just be other extinct creatures out there that aren't quite as extinct as we might have thought that they were. It just so happens that there are a few people who think that the Meg might be one of them. Having said that, there is actually no real evidence that the Megalodon is stalking the seas, still undetected. Scientists are inclined to say, though, that they are extinct, so when a little bit of video footage pops up with the alleged Megalodon doing a spot of modern-day cruising, treat it with a little bit of skepticism. Because who knows? There's so much ocean out there that we can't keep an eye on all of it now, can we? Number 7. The Moa Bird 
Basically, wherever humans have spread, we've done irredeemable harm to the natural world, and a lot of times that means the literal eradication of an entire species of ancient animal. Moas were a type of huge flightless bird that was native to the islands of New Zealand for millions of years, up until about 600 years ago when they went extinct. As science has become more and more sophisticated, it's become possible to figure out how this might have happened. And guess what? Yeah, that's right. It was because of us humans. These big old birds had been bumbling around quite happily for literally millions of years, and then in the late 13th century, humans would arrive on the islands, and if you do some pretty basic math, that kind of coincides with the extinction of the moa bird. So what could possibly be the cause of these birds' sudden and untimely demise. While scientists now believe that humans have behaved in a pretty similar way for a lot of history, you know, just killing stuff and taking things and not really considering the general impact of their behavior, so whether for food or sport or just bloodlust, people have systematically removed the moa from the face of the earth. Number 6. The Ivory-Billed Woodpecker this extinct bird has turned up more than Elvis, and the alleged sightings? Well, they've been almost as hinky as Elvis' appearances as well. Their distinctive black and white striped feathers and their big straight white bill have made these birds especially popular amongst bird spotters and wildlife enthusiasts in general. However, they were unlucky enough to find themselves in danger in a time before these nature fans had organized into the sorts of conservationists that try to save birds that are at risk today. So sadly for the birds themselves and their fans, these woodpeckers were declared extinct in the 1920s. There were a few more sightings after that, and many people continued to search for the holy grail of a bird for the rest of the century. And although it did pop up a few times, the ivory-billed woodpecker used to live in the old forests of the southeastern United States along with Cuba. Like many animals that have disappeared from our world, this bird suffered a loss of habitat in the 1800s, which caused their numbers to shrink dramatically. By the time that people realized it was actually disappearing, it was really too late to do anything about the already destructed habitat. In 2004, in Arkansas, there were a whole load of reports that people had seen these woodpeckers. That's when a group of ornithologists from Cornell would go and do a study for a couple of years. But the trouble with all of those sightings of the ivory-billed woodpecker is that nobody's really thought to take a photo of one since 1938 in Louisiana. So, as much as there are plenty of people out there that hope the bird is still alive in the United States, it seems less likely for all the lack of real evidence. Much like Elvis himself. Number 5. The Cave Bear so, the cave bear is theorized to have died out about 24,000 years ago, making the idea that this creature is still alive just a little itty bit implausible. However, it's all a matter of perspective, isn't it? The cave bear is basically exactly what it sounds like, a bear that lives in caves. It was really a big bear, perhaps about 30% larger than our current day brown bears. These big guys were most closely related to the brown bear and the polar bear, and they did share a whole load of characteristics with the North American brown bear. Except for one big one that some scientists think may have contributed to their extinction. These massive bears may actually have been vegan. That's right, unlike the omnivorous modern day brown bear, it's said that the cave bear's diet consisted of almost everything vegetable-based. For an animal of its size, this made keeping alive pretty tricky during its winter hibernation. This might account for why so many cave bear fossils and remains have been discovered in the caves of Europe, giving the unfortunate species its name. So, it seems as though the only way that these cave bears do still exist is in the DNA of brown bears, but it might be pushing the boundaries of the use of the language. Number 4. The Japanese River Otter 
Last spotted in the wild in 1979, the Japanese river otter seemed to suddenly show up again in Nagasaki Prefecture's Tsushima Island in 2017. But the jury is still out on whether or not the cheeky creature was captured on camera is actually a fabled Japanese river otter. Or perhaps that it was more likely a Eurasian otter that had crossed the sea from South Korea. It would be a tiny bit mad for it to be a seafaring Eurasian otter though. Its apparent departure point had to have been over 50 kilometers away. So the video footage of the surprise otter is either amazing because it's proof of the existence of the extinct creature, or it's awesome because the otter on film has swum a really, really long distance. We'll leave it up to you to decide. Nobody else has managed to reach a conclusion either. Number 3. Megalania An extinct giant lizard, the Megalania would be native to Australia. So you'd have to be somewhat deluded to think that there are any of these monster reptiles that are left roaming the earth. But wait, there's more. Their close relatives are certainly still around and they get pretty big themselves. That's right, these gigantic old timey lizards are the forefathers-ish of the Komodo dragon. Oh, how I love the Komodo dragon. But don't get me wrong, they don't actually make great pets. They're not so cuddly, but they are really cool. So you know, some stuff didn't make it, but then they paved the way for other creatures to bust on through and get involved in the distinctly not extinct business of being a Komodo dragon. So as it turns out, every cloud has a silver lining, or perhaps a venomous one. Number 2. The Irish Elk the Irish elk's Latin name gives you a pretty good clue about its defining characteristic. It was called Megaloceros gigantus, which makes it sound like a massive, horned, gigantic beast. These creatures measured a similar kind of size as the modern-day moose, growing up to about 7 feet tall, but their antlers were insanely big, measuring as much as 13 feet across. It seems as though this extraordinary creature was, like so many other Ice Age animals, simply a massive version of the kind of animals that we're familiar with today. It was actually the Irish elk's colossal size that would make it so appealing to humans that were around during the end of the last ice age because those pesky humans thought that the Irish elk could provide plenty of food for the expanding human population and it was particularly prized by hunters. And yes, you guessed it, humans made the Irish elk extinct as well. But in fairness to those particular human beings, they were hunting for food and trying to survive during an ice age and that could be tricky. Number 1. The Passenger Pigeon in the 19th century, the passenger pigeon was the most abundant species of bird in all of North America. The extraordinary sight of their migrations could darken the skies, and they existed in their billions across the whole continent. And then? Well, how did these incredibly populous birds go from having the most abundant numbers of any bird on Earth to complete extinction by 1914? Was it a terrible bird plague? Well, kind of. And that plague? It was called humans. I mean, honestly, are we all getting a little bit sick of the same old story over and over and over again? Dumbass people doing dumbass things to obliterate species after species across centuries and continents? I mean, really? People who participated in the systematic annihilation of this species simply refused to believe that their actions could have a marked impact on a species species that seem to be so very abundant. But the fate of the passenger pigeon just goes to show that if you try hard enough, you really can kill every single one of them, even if there are apparently billions. Hunted into extinction, there was only one remaining passenger pigeon in captivity by 1914. She was named Martha and lived out her final days as the last example of her kind at the Cincinnati Zoo. And then they were all gone. 
In a world where incredible animals are in constant risk of extinction, it seems too good to be true that any of them may just pop back up again, especially as people seem hell-bent on destroying most of them. But given the stories that we've just witnessed, how worried should the humans be at this point? Is extinction just over the horizon for us as well? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.